What is up everyone at Drakey 57 to return a chance. Today we're gonna be running our round four week four matchup for the Sparkman Yu-Gi-Oh! tournament. Unfortunately, last week I did last weekend I didn't get to upload the week three, week uh round three. Uh but I did lose that matchup. Uh I I think I was playing against like uh what was it? Uh Burning Abyss, uh Burning Abyss something Phantom Knight deck. Uh, and yeah, I did end up losing that matchup. So I think we're like one and two right now. Hopefully we cop a win today We're going against fatal Chris from the Meta Bros today, which is gonna be really exciting. I'm also using a new uh, Program today called duelist dueling nexus usually we're running on Edo uh, But fatal Chris said he wanted to running on duelist nexus because that's the one he's comfortable with So we put up a deck on here. This is the deck that I've been using for the past two three weeks I'm still not giving up on it. Hopefully, I'm, you know, hopefully we do catch a win today and are able to perform well with this deck. But yeah, we're gonna go look for Fatal Chris and see if he's ready to to run it. So we'll be back in just a bit. Looks like we entered a duel and let's see how this goes over here. Fatal Chris versus Return of the Chance. I am unranked. I uh, guess I press I'm ready. Ready. Please check the deck first. Okay, I gotta play Vanquish Soul, and we're gonna put ready. And we're going to be starting this in just a bit. All right, so it looks like I get to go first. So let's start this round. And good luck, Fatal Chris. Let's see how it goes. Okay, go first. Uh, so draw phase. Looks like we start off with a pretty decent hand. We do have the uh, Fiendsmith track to get our Fiendsmith play started. We also have the um, Stake Your Soul to get our... Uh, other play started, our Vanquish Soul play started. So let's start off with Fiendsmith track because we do want to start with... Um, we do want to bait the ash in case he does have it. Activate card effect to be chained to this. No. Grab that. And we already have the lurry, so we're just going to discard the lurry right now. Re effect triggers. Uh, no, I'm gonna not. I'm not gonna chain to it because it's probably asking me for ghost spell. And we're gonna put lurry right here. We're gonna link this away into the requiem. right there uh, and then we're gonna activate to special summon a fiend smith from the deck uh deck deck can okay deck right here uh the next step would be doing requiem its effect to necro equip just basic fiend smith stuff I wonder if there's any sound on this. I, I, I think I forgot to put the sound on on this. If not, I'll just put a background, some background music so you guys won't get bored watching me duel. Necro quit. And now we're gonna go with uh, Engraver. Let's throw Requiem. Let's go Lurry. Let's throw, put Lurry back in the deck. And uh, do I want to chain? Nope. That's probably asking me for Ghost Spell. Uh, we could actually link these two off into should we do that or should we do beatrice let's actually wait for a bit yeah we'll wait for a bit let's go with the uh, stake your soul i hope he doesn't have a nibiru we're gonna be able to ash i wonder what he's playing too Summon our Vanquish Soul. Uh, yes, I'm going to activate Vanquish Soul to search. Uh, one card, activated card effect that cannot be chained. No, it's probably asking me for the Ash again. Uh, so we're going to grab ourselves uh, Mad Love. Cool. Uh, now we're going to link away Rock into the Rock the Vanquisher. Uh, what else do we do here? We're going to activate. Spell summon a vanquish soul from the hand, which will be Dr. Madlove. We'll put it right there. Defense. Then we're gonna grab our Vanquish Soul Continue. Activate card effect that can be chained. Nope. Because we're gonna try to go into the Dugaris to get some draw. Draw power in. Activate target raisin. 
And yes, we are gonna special summon. Now we're gonna go into Dugaris. We're gonna throw the um we're gonna throw engraver into the uh graveyard. We're gonna draw two and that's how we're gonna make our uh what's what's it called? What's the fusion monster Finsmith that negates uh double we're gonna draw two cards. And we're gonna dump that. Cool. So now we could go into this one right here. And we do have three fiends, three light fiends in a graveyard. So one, two, three. So now we're able to go into what's her name? Uh, Desiree. There you go. One. Two and what was it this one? No, one, two, two, three. And we'll put Desiree right here. And this one could be used from the graveyard, right? It says you could target uh, one non lean fiend monster, equip this card from the field or graveyard to that monster. Okay, so yeah, I could go into a SP Little Knight right now. No, we're not going to activate the effect of Little Knight. No, we're not going to chain. Are we going to chain? Oh, yeah, actually, we could chain to bring out Parallel Exceed. But do I even need the Parallel Exceed right now? I could, but there's not really. Yeah, let's go with it. Just because we already have it. I, I don't know when's the next time I'm gonna be able to use it. So now we're gonna special summon into Dempsey just to grab a another copy of Rock the Vanquisher. So now we have two. Uh, I mean, not, not 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 another copy. I mean, Vanquish Soul Raisin, not Rock 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 the Vanquisher. Now we're gonna activate this to equip to this, and it's gonna give us our negates. Uh, nope. And that'll be it. So we have a negate. We have a uh, Rock the Vanquisher out. We have SP Little Knight. Uh, and I think that's it. I think we're good to go. And how do I in turn? Oh, and face. Now let's see what he's running. So we have two hand traps in the hand. We have to skip our next uh, draw phase because of the Garrus. We have uh, Vanquish Soul Raisin. Oh, uh, looks like he's playing Centurions. Uh, do I want to chain? It says when this, if a monster effects special summoned. Yeah, I don't need to chain that. I could just negate it later on with this. So what just happened? Uh, this card is activated. You can send one card from your deck to your graveyard. I could easily ash that right now. Should we ash it? No, we could do this and then we could use ash for the next one. So let's do that. So just one, we'll negate that. So now that's just negated for the rest of the turn. And we still have the Ash. So this one, this card is normal. So you could add one Centurion. Uh, yeah, we could. Um, we're going to Ash that. And we still have the Ghost Bell. So just a little bit more interruptions right here. We still have the SP Little Knight. We still have Rock the Vanquisher as well. It's gonna set. Uh, activate card effect. Yes, can I? You want a special summon? And 
and yes we're gonna activate we're gonna grab ourselves a copy of we're gonna go with uh, Caesar just because he's big and I do have the ghost bell so if I were to trigger his effect I could um use his effect to make him unaffected by activated effects waiting for opponent let's see what else he has yeah I'm gonna activate Caesar bounces back and I think that's gonna be it Duelist Nexus is actually pretty cool not too different from Edo Pro I'm kind of liking it just I wish there was like some music playing in the background so it wouldn't be so dead So yeah, now if he wants to attack, he's gonna have to attack um, Caesar because it's the highest attack uh, monster on the field, uh, and it is a Vanquish Soul monster. But because of this guy's effect right here, Rock, it says while you control a Vanquish Soul monster, your opponent monsters can only target monster you control with the highest attack. So now we're passing turn. I do skip my uh, draw phase because of Dugaris, but let's see what we could do now. We can easily. Let's actually go with this. Let's add a Vanquish Soul monster to the hand. Let's add that. Let's normal summon the Razin. Raisin. And yeah, we're going to trigger it. And grab our copy of Vanquish Soul. Borger, activate Borger, back to Raisin, special, and let's see, we're going to actually just go for battle and then see if we draw a card, if we go for um, uh, battle damage with Borger. Uh, so we're going to attack. Fourteen. An attack that's twenty eight. An attack as well right here. Twenty three, and then we're just gonna end it with Borger right here. Hey, we got game one. Play next round. Uh, so first sighting, it looks like he's playing Centurion, so we're gonna throw in that, that the draws. Uh, maybe take off. I didn't see Ghost Bell being that much use maybe that could change uh maybe take off he is going first so cosmic cyclone could come in handy maybe uh let's see what do we got what do we got we got maybe take out one site cosmic cyclone but he is going to be going first actually let's take off one of these and let's see what else we need to take off one more card maybe one parallel exceed actually let's take out the parallel exceeds because parallel exceed we mostly use for comboing off going first so we're gonna be trying it without parallel exceed throwing in some evenly matches to clear some boards uh they don't really link oh nibiru could come in handy so let's do one nibiru one evenly match cosmic cyclone uh draws I think as long as I draw into like a draw, I, I should be fine. Oh, looks like we did not draw into a draw. We drew two Cosmic Cyclones. So yeah, that, I think we're we're gonna lose this one because I think he could he could go full combo, and is gonna be able to um bring out that Red Dragon Calamity that doesn't let me play. Let me try to see where I could find some sound on here. Uh, sound volume, music volume. Yep, no music volume. We had the music turned off. Yeah, I have nothing to change, so I'm gonna let him go off. Let's see how he goes. Yeah, I don't see any. I don't see any place to put music volume in. We'll just leave it alone then. Oh, he's playing the white forest mixed with the centurion. It's nice. Yeah, I've seen these. Uh, get uh, get uh, a couple tops recently 
White Forest is one of those decks to look out for. The one I played against is actually the Toy Box strategy version. I did play once in Tyrion version, but my opponent uh, wasn't able to do, uh, what do you call it, Centurion stuff, just was doing White Forest stuff. I think he bricked or something. But yeah, it's nice to see these White Forest cards getting some play at first. People were kind of sleeping on them for a bit, but now they're like hyped up. But yeah, I heard he, they do really well with Centurion. So let's see what board he ends up with. I'm pretty sure I'm getting Calamity Locked, like I said. Or they're probably bring, he's probably going to bring out that Quasar uh, Dragon thing. Do, I do have Cosmic Cyclone for the Field Spell, though. So that's going to help a little bit. And maybe one more Cosmic Cyclone for like the back row. Then I could start off with like Fiendsmith uh, stuff right here. Uh, grab my... Uh, what do you call it? Rock, I mean, Raisin with the Rendall. That's assuming everything goes well and I don't get locked. Uh, see, this one lets um, this card special something you can send one spell or trap from your hand, field, or graveyard to add one white forest a card or light spellcaster from your deck to your hand. Oh, it's just a generic light spellcaster searcher. That's pretty cool. What are some good light spell casters to search? And then this one says, um, if you control a white forest monster, you can spell some of this card from your hand. You can send a spell or trap from your hand or field to your graveyard, draw one card. If this card sent to the graveyard, quick fade, good target. One white forest synchro monster you control. Or return it to the extra deck. Oh, he's ending the phase? What? End phase? What? Okay, so it looks like I need to be able to, he needs to be able to trigger this to be able to, um, Go into the I guess he could chain this. Can I technically chain Cosmic Cyclone to that? Can I target this? Oh, it worked. <laughs> I didn't think it was going to work, but it did work. All right, so now we just have to worry about this. I, I, I don't remember if he added a spell or trap to his hand, but yeah, now we just got to worry about that. Uh, this one says, uh, this card special summon, you can destroy. So it's kind of dead right now. So I think I'm safe, but let's go with Fiendsmith plays first. Always got to start off with the Fiendsmith stuff because we want to get into our Vanquish Soul stuff later on. Just trying to bait out the Fiendsmith stuff first. We can bring out a Desiree. onto the field to be able to grab our negate for maybe whatever this is. Let's see if he stops it. Oh, okay, waiting for your opponent. What does he have? Nothing on that. Also could Sky Crisis to bounce this back. So we have that option as well, if all fails. So trying to figure out what this is though. And if anything in the graveyard will trigger. Uh, it doesn't look like anything in the graveyard he has that will trigger. So it just might be that and whatever he has in the hand too. Let's equip the Requiem. Anything on that? Now we can go into Necro Quip. We're going to want to keep this space open because I'm going to try to pop this with the uh, Raisin. Oh, Imperm. Imperm on that? Why? Oh, I think you misplayed. I, I don't really even use this. Oh no, why did you do it on that one? You should have done it. Wait it. Yeah, I think he misplayed on that one. Because I don't even use the effect of this one. I use it, I only use it to uh, link climb into uh, uh, this one right here. Uh, 
So now we can go into Desiree. One, two, three. Yeah, you're supposed to hit uh, the this one right here to not let me Desiree. Oh no, you misplayed. Uh, now what could we do? We have something here we could activate too. Oh, we could fusion, but no, we're gonna go into our. Uh, it was this row, right? Let's stay away from d these two rows right here. I forgot where the imprim was, so let's try to activate everything over here. We're gonna equip to Desiree. Now we're gonna activate to grab our raisin. Uh, stake your soul. Just activating anything here because I forgot what row he had uh, that in. The imprimin. Special right here. Yes, we're going to activate. And we're going to grab ourselves. What should we grab? I guess we could grab anything. Let's go with Dr. Mad Love. And let's see, we, we could activate to reveal, oh, uh, destroy all the monsters in the column, yep. We're gonna do that, reveal that, and Dr. Madla. So now we're gonna pop that. And yes, we're gonna activate our Chow Long to be able to special summon. Uh, now we're gonna go with this, Link. And we're going to activate to add to hand. And activate to search. We're going to grab our heavy burger with that and then draw another card for some draw advantage. Hopefully he doesn't have a Nibiru. Activate, not summon. Bounce back. Special right there. Then activate to draw a card. This is one thing I love about Vanquish. So it's a hand advantage. Oh, look, we drew in a beer for the follow up. And now we could actually. Could we link? Oh, I haven't even normal summoned. We could just normal summon down here and activate. Search for the trap. And we could link these two into a SP. Actually, no, we're not going to link it to SP just yet. We're going to just go for the attack right now. So battle. We could SP after. It's 1500, so let's go with this one right here. And attack. And attack. And 28 and go to main phase 2 now we could SP to this and then S we're going to activate uh, we could banish let's see what could trigger in the graveyard uh, target one one forest nope maybe this during the end phase you could place then say if this card is in your graveyard. We're looking for cards to say, oh, well, this card is in the graveyard. You can add this card. Oh, we're actually going to banish this one. Seems like that one might be the correct one. And now we're going to activate this to equip to the Desiree and get our negates. And we're just going to set one. And we're good. We're going to pass turn after that. Let's see how much follow-up uh, White Forest has. So that one says, you can set one spur trap from your hand or field to the graveyard spell someone like monster from your... Okay, so this one is a trigger effect, so he has to trigger, it's not a quick effect. So let's see if we could do something on that. Uh, we're gonna activate to special summon. Uh, yeah, we will do this to target Little Knight and that. And yes, we will activate right here to add a Vanquish Soul. 
reveal both of these and grab Caesar. Actually, no, we'll, we'll grab this one right here because we want to draw a card next. We still have the negate on this, so whatever he activates, we're, we'll probably just end up negating. I forgot we had the trap card still set right here too. Yeah, we're just gonna negate that. Does this have an effect on your face if you could banish this card from your graveyard? So it wants to tear from your deck to your graveyard. Okay. So yeah, we'll chain to that to draw a card. To Fiend Smith. I wonder how much he could go off with uh, these. If this card is activated, turn, send a card. Oh, that's it. Oh, okay. Oh, that's... We got it. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoy week four, round four of the Sparkman Yu-Gi-Oh! Tournament. Shout out Fatal Chris for giving me this duel and running it with me. Uh, showing me how Duelist Nexus work and stuff. This is a pretty cool experience just to expand my dueling range. I'm usually on Edo Pro, but it's nice to, uh, you know, find different platforms. Maybe I could... Uh, move on to like dual link book or something like that later on as well but yeah uh make sure to like subscribe to the channel also go follow us on instagram tiktok and x i return to chance it's rookie 572 and we'll see you guys next time